السلام عليكم and today this is the next lecture for introduction transport today we're going to talk about uh, transport and before we talk about transport we're going to talk about uh, the membrane permeability since the membrane is phosphorylated by layer mainly uh, this membrane will be permeable to lipid soluble substances the most important lipid soluble substances are gases oxygen carbon dioxide uh, steroids which are lipids and uh, this is impermeable to ions or glucose or proteins or whatever. Uh, you know that transport or transmembrane proteins they act as channels, transporter to assist the uh, entrance of certain substances, for example, glucose ions. Uh, there are glucose channels ion channel, sodium channel, potassium channel, and so on. Uh, so, when we come to talk about transport, there are two types of transport. One type is called passive transport, and passive um, The, uh, this kind of a transport that does not need energy it goes from higher concentration to lower concentration so what we said it uh, works according to concentration gradient yani according to the concentration difference from higher concentration to lower concentration from higher pressure to lower pressure from from higher to lower and the reason uh, why substances move from higher concentration to lower concentration you know, uh, the molecules at higher concentration they uh, have higher kinetic energy molecule asra from higher concentration to lower concentration and the net movement of the substance is from higher to lower concentration this is sometimes we call it uh, uh, downhill 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 نزوله بكون بدون ما يصفى الطاقة يعني تقول مثلا سيارة اللي تنزل نزلة سيارة بدون ما نزعت بنزين البنزين هو عبارة عن طاقة بدون ما تزعت بنزين بتكون نازلة حالة بتقول والله هاي نازلة نيوترال شو يعني يعني in from higher to lower now on the other hand active transport it's going against concentration gradient يعني against concentration difference from lower concentration to higher concentration in this case you need energy ما بيصير انه تحكي انا I don't need energy uh, or this kind of transport because it works against uh, energy in, in the form of what? In the form of ATV. Can it so you want to move water? To play water mean uh, underground. Yeah, for example, in the water can also be played. Nesbar no khazanat. Khazanat water when in the ground. Okay. Kebli mir fawa for sotah. Shu bistamilu bistamilu pump madakh. المضخات works with energy سواء كهرباء سواء ديزل سواء كاز بنزين هذا energy 
So when you want to move certain things um, uh, against concentration gradient, you want this kind of transport, or we call it sometimes uphill. يعني كأنه تام تطبع على التل يا ولد. ماشي. يعني هذا this is called uphill, and the other is called downhill. Okay. Now the simplest kind of passive transport is diffusion. And the simplest kind of diffusion is called simple diffusion. Al intishar is sahih. Simple diffusion will intishar from higher concentration to lower concentration. And so when you open a perfume, from higher concentration to lower concentration. If you want in this kind of beaker, you want here to put a drop of ink or dye, sabra. شوف الانك او الصبغه انتشرت في كل صارت هون هوموجينيوس صار اكوليبريوم سو فروم هاير كونسنتريشن تو لوور كونسنتريشن ذس كايند اوف ديفيوجن از افكتد باي ذا كونسنتريشن جراديانت اند از افكتد باي ذا تمبرشر جوز فروم هاير تو لوور كونسنتريشن The higher temperature, the movement, the kinetic energy is more, so it moves faster. Now, this kind of diffusion depends on the diffusion distance. Diffusion distance here. يعني لما نحكي بين مثلاً بين ال intracellular وال extra أو ال extra cellular وال intra cellular. This movement through the membrane, but it depends on the thickness of the membrane. The more the thickness of the membrane, the less is the diffusion. And the more the membrane is thick, it is harder for the substances to move. It depends on the molecular weight of the substance that diffuse, mass of diffusion, so molecular weight. In fact, with respect to molecular weight, it is inversely proportional to The square root of the molecular weight. Square root of molecular weight. Okay. So واحد على المolecular square root of the molecular. In theory, the theory. It depends on the surface area. The higher the surface area, the faster the diffusion. So here you might say diffusion is proportional to area or surface area multiplied concentration difference C1 minus C2 okay which is inversely proportional to the square root of the molecular weight okay on concentration this is diffusion so diffusion is uh, depends on the surface area the concentration difference and so on okay So this is simple diffusion. As you see, simple diffusion uh, for gases, oxygen, CO2, nitrogen, steroids, fat soluble vitamin. Each of my fat soluble vitamin. Now, for example, vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin E, vitamin K. So these four vitamins are soluble, uh, fat soluble. They are fat soluble. They will diffuse through the membrane. 
passively without any expenditure of energy. Glycerols, alcohol, ammonia, these are they pass through the phospholipid bilayer through and through. And of course, the amount of diffusion depends on the surface area. The more the surface area, the more the faster the diffusion depends on the molecular weight, depends on the thickness of the membrane, and depends on the concentration of the solution. So this is diffusion. Now also, if the channels here are open, say so this is potassium channel. If potassium channel is open, the potassium will also diffuse from higher concentration of potassium through lower concentration, through the channel. But here there is a condition, and you're not sharp. The channel has to be open. If the channel is not open, there is no diffusion. So this is diffusion through channels, or sometimes through water-filled pores of the channel. So this is a channel, potassium channel. Potassium will diffuse. If it's a sodium channel, sodium will diffuse. So sodium, potassium through the channel. The way how they, diff they, they are transported is by simple diffusion. But here the condition is that this channel has to be open. In simple diffusion through the membrane of lipid soluble substances. Okay. Simple diffusion. Rate of diffusion J Abbar letter J is directly proportional to the concentration gradient, the solubility in lipid. The uh, substances they are not soluble in the same way. Some some are more soluble than the others. Low Akadamathan gases. CO2 is around 24 times more soluble than oxygen. Reasons for CO2, the diffusion is faster if that gradient is the same. يعني مثلاً لو بدنا نحكي بالأكسجين والCO2. CO2 والأكسجين لو أخذناهم على respiratory system بجهاز. You know how they move? They move around 250 ml per minute. 250 ml per minute we take oxygen or 250 ml of CO2 we expel it to the outside Germany. But if we look at the gradient of CO2, the gradient just from 45 to 40, meaning 5 mm mercury. 5 mm mercury is enough to move 250 milliliter of CO2 gradient is very small, 5. Now, we go to oxygen, no, oxygen from 100 to 40. And the gradient from 100 to 40 is 60. So the gradient is 64 uh, oxygen and just Five for CO2, but the amount that moves is the same. Why? Let's be serial happy because of the difference in solubility. CO2 is more soluble. The had manatu. The more the solubility, the more is the diffusion, and it is inversely proportional happen to the square root of the molecular weight, and inversely proportional to the thickness of the membrane. The only one is given by a law, it's a fixed law of diffusion. J, so P, B is the permeability in lipid. C2 minus C1, a difference in concentration. S is the surface area. Then on J, this is fixed. Or we can be able to be shakil tani, J. So D, D here is the diffusion coefficient. معامل الدفusion. معامل الدفusion يأخذ بعين الاعتبار solubility in lipid or molecular weight. يعني diffusion coefficient لكل substance is different. And this is constant for the substance. يعني هذا ثابت للsubstance المعين. إذن diffusion coefficient A is the area. 
delta C, delta C is the concentration gradient. Delta X, على delta X, delta X is the change in thickness of the membrane. The delta C concentration gradient to delta X thickness of the membrane. Then how the low, how the low, it's almost the same. Let's be able to know how the mistamero, or how the mistamero, it is the same. But in the end, we know that the diffusion, simple diffusion, depends on the area, concentration gradient, solubility in lipid, thickness of the membrane, and the molecular weight. Okay. Okay, and then we get our substances here. This is simple diffusion through the membrane by layer. This is still diffusion, but diffused through channel. Now there is another kind of diffusion that's called facilitated diffusion. And the facilitated diffusion, the substances is not soluble in the bed. Maybe it is big too. But how they can be transported? They are transported by a carrier, to form a carrier. The carrier, a little bit, a few of them, the first time we talked about the proteins, the membrane proteins, they work like carrier, transporter. How the carrier, it carries this substance, for example, how the glucose. Then, from higher concentration to lower concentration, we have the outside, the inside, or inside, or outside, or whatever. This kind of transport is called facilitated diffusion. Facilitated diffusion is passive transport, does not need energy from higher concentration to lower. But does it, what does it need? It needs a transporter, it needs a carrier, it needs a carrier, transporter. So, we were talking about membrane protein. We were talking membrane protein, delta medmen from one cell to the cell at the HV. The southern carrier, uh, its number is almost fixed, yeah, limited, not fixed, limited. So, if I have a carrier, for example, 500 carrier, 500 carrier, but I have 1,000 molecules. If I have 500, we will have 500, we will have 1,000. Then what do we call it here? We call it, this has a limited capacity. A limited capacity means V max, for example. V max, يعني إيش velocity maximum velocity maximum أو ممكن سمي T max transport maximum إذا هون it's facilitated diffusion بيختلف the facilitated diffusion different from simple diffusion إنه it has to have a carrier ما لازم يكون في carrier بعدين في إلو capacity you can maximum capacity, maximum can transport. And the maximum kind of transport depends on the number of carriers. number of carriers after So this is the kind of transport. But the way we get the other kind of transport is called by active transport. Okay. Okay. Move on, simple diffusion, channel facilitated. This is simple diffusion through and through the membrane. These are for limited soluble substances. These are channel mediated, facilitated diffusion, we can call it, or you can call it simple diffusion, but it's through the channel. But and here, how can condition in the channel has to be open? This is carrier mediated, or we call it facilitated diffusion. We carrier, definitely carrier, outside and inside, inside, whatever. From higher concentration to lower concentration does not need energy, it needs a carrier and it has a limit. Limited. Okay. This is a channel. The channel has to be open. If the channel is closed, it's not going to pass. What kind of here diffusion? It is facilitated diffusion by channel. How we call it simple diffusion by channel, whatever. It's the same. But has to be. The channel has to be open. On the cells, we are talking about channels. We can be gated. The gate here, we can open the sucker by change in voltage. So the voltage gated channel. We can open the sucker if there is a substance on substance, what's called a ligand or monomer, 
applying to this channel تفتح أو بتفتح. But these are the channels. The channels gate open, key diffusion. You call it simple diffusion, ممكن. ممكن. You call it channel facilitated diffusion, yes. First channel facilitated diffusion. You can call it both ways. If you facilitated diffusion, like for facilitated diffusion for glucose, glucose cannot pass directly through the membrane because it's, it's not soluble. It's a big molecule. The eukaryote, high eukaryote. Eukaryote have the melon. The phone should be so bad. Why? That the best. Match. Then how does it work? It works like this. I want the glucose, it binds to the carrier. But then, tiny and I have the best way to mirror all the way to the inside. Then, I will see the head, the dashlo, the mirror inside. And then, glucose goes from this kind, say outside to inside through the carrier or facility or transporter. And this is a membrane protein. This is a membrane protein. Okay. Now, simple diffusion uh, diffusion rate is directly proportional according to the concentration gradient. Solubility in liquid is inversible to the square root of the molecular weight. Facilitated diffusion is saturable. If saturable, then saturation is bad. It's bad at the number of transporters. The transporters are limited and has what we call it T max. T max and transport maximum or V max velocity maximum, whatever we call it. Okay. This is the difference say, between uh, facilitated diffusion and uh, simple diffusion. In the x-axis, we put the concentration gradient, and on the y-axis, we put the Vmax or transport maximum, Tmax, okay, or Tmax or Vmax. So for a simple diffusion case, high simple diffusion, simple diffusion, Maratani, high simple diffusion. As you see. The more the concentration gradient, the more is the transport. Ma fi ule limit. Limit whole concentration gradient. The more, as you see, the more the concentration gradient, the more is the transport. This is a simple diffusion. And this is simple diffusion. Now look to the facilitated diffusion. Facilitated diffusion. The rate is proportional to the concentration. Let's look here to the facilitated diffusion. Again, look to the facilitated diffusion. The facilitated diffusion has a T max one. T max. Is an on the volume sheet where until it reaches its Maximum limit, high T max. What's the lawn? Maybe the extra, I see extra, but she or she when below barra, maybe it's good. So this is, as you see here, we go. This is facilitated diffusion, it has T max. With T max, why? Because the transporter are limited, the carriers are limited. Since they are limited, they uh, they cannot exceed this limit. Okay, why? Because uh, the, the what we call it binding sites. Command of the it works with the hormones. For example, hormone receptors, receptor fixed. 
الهرمون ما بيقدر يتحد مثلا في عندي 1000 هرمون و500 ريسبتور 500 ريسبتور لما يتحدوا مع 500 بصيروا فتف ما بيقدر الهرمون يتحد اكثر من هيك فاحنا مثلا نعطيه كميه من الهرمون اكثر من ال النمبر اوف ريسبتورز ما بيستفيد منه الشخص Okay. Then what limits the maximum rate of facilitated diffusion is the number of receptors. What limits the maximum rate of facilitated is the number of size, the number of uh, carriers, the number of carriers. Okay. Now we come to another kind of passive transport, but this is special kind of passive transport. What we call it osmosis, osmosis. هون الاسموسية movement of water فالسبيسيفيسيتي الخاصية تبعتها movement of water from higher concentration of water to lower concentration of water then movement of water from higher concentration to lower through uh, uh, plasma membrane كيف بمشي؟ بمشي ممكن simple diffusion through bilayer ممكن water the permeability is not that much or through aquaporins aquaporins اللي هي ايش؟ Bores that are uh, for water, aqua water, 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 and water channels, integral membrane protein. These are water channels. Movement from higher concentration of water to lower, or oh, from higher, uh, from lower concentration of solutes to higher to lower concentration, from higher, from lower concentration of solutes to higher concentration of solutes. Okay, and we can solute our water glass. Okay, this is here. Uh, before we go uh, and talk about osmosis, we're going to talk about osmolarity and osmolality. Osmolality, osmolality and osmolarity. Now, osmolarity and osmo, osmolarity and osmolality. الأوزمو لا ليتي هون بتعتمد على النمبر of molecules Number of osmotically active molecules. Number of molecules. مش على concentration. The number of molecules. شو تعريف الosmolality? Osmolality is number of osmotically active molecules per kilogram of water. Per kilogram of هلا في ممكن يكون osmolarity osmo on number of osmotically active molecules per liter of solution On per kilogram of water. Nafi, there is not that much difference. Nafi for a tier ban on. Fi for a kafif. Yan matihka an osmolality. Shuk tamil. Tehot bin jeep kilogram of water. Takriban one liter. وبتدوب فيهم السوليوشن او اعتبر صوديوم بوتاسيوم بدك اياه فبتقيس الاوزمولاريتي اوزمولاريتي بير كيلوغرام في الاوزمولاريتي بتجيب مثلا بيتر وتحط فيه 500 ام ال اوف ووتر بتدوب فيه الصوديوم بعدين بتكمل الفوليوم على 1 لتر سو ذيس از 
ليتل بيت اوف ديفرنس يعني هناك حطينا ليتل كيلو جرام اوف ووتر حطينا ودوبنا فيه ف100% راح يرتفع الكيلو عن اكثر من لتر بس الديفرنس از ذات نوت ذات ماتش فالاوزموليتي والاوزمو تقريبا ذا سيم بس ذس از ذا ديفرنس اوزموليتي نمبر اوف مولكيولز بير كيلو جرام اوف ووتر اوزموليتي بالار نمبر اوف مولكيولز بير لتر اوف طيب احنا هون نحكي بير نمبر يعني لو اجبنا 1 مول اوف صوديوم 1 مول اوف بوتاسيوم هلا 1 مول اوف صوديوم كم جرام يعني اوف صوديوم؟ 23 بيكوز ذا مولوكيولار ويت اوف صوديوم از 23 بس لما نحكي 1 مول اوف بوتاسيوم كم جرام اوف بوتاسيوم؟ 39 لانه المولوكيولار ويت اوف بوتاسيوم 39 اذا لو اف وي ديزولف 23 جرام اوف صوديوم ب 1 لتر اوف صوليوشن و 39 جرام اوف بوتاسيوم ب 1 لتر اوف صوليوشن المولاريتي والاوزموليتي ذا سيم ليش؟ لانه ال 1 مولوكيولار ويت كم في عدد مولوكيول؟ ال 1 مولوكيولار ويت في عدد افوكادرو يعني 39 جرامز اوف بوتاسيوم فيها عدد افوكادرو من المولوكيول and 23 جرامز اوف صوديوم has the avogadro number of molecules and 23 جرامز اوف صوديوم has avogadro number of molecules and 39 of بوتاسيوم has avogadro so the number of molecules is the same if the number of molecules is the same the osmolarity is the same the osmolarity or osmolality is the same So in, for both of them, the osmolarity is the same. Although the gram weights we bought is different. La the difference actor, for example, the original the glucose. The, the glucose, the molecular weight of glucose is 180 grams. So if you dissolve 180 grams of glucose to one liter of solution. The osmolality is the same like dissolving 23 grams of sodium in one liter of solution. يعني لما تدور 23 جرام صوديوم ب 1 لتر نفس الاوزموليتي نفسها ل 180 جرام اوف جلوكوز ب 1 لتر اوف سوليوشن لانه المولوكيولار ويت اوف جلوكوز 180 جرام 180 جرام هاز افوكادرو نمبر اون افوكادرو. So this is what is what is meant by osmolality or osmolality. طيب نيجي نحكي عن الريتشارز اليوم شوف هون if we have two limbs of this new tube and here they are separated these two solutions in left arm and right arm by a membrane what we call it semi-permeable membrane, semi or selectively permeable, semi يعني كبر محتاج. And this membrane is permeable only to water. And we put on this in the right arm a solute, so it's a solute solution. And the membrane is not permeable to the solute. يعني معناته هون صار الأوزموليتي is higher than the osmolality in this left arm. شوف الأوزموليتي للووتر لحاله زيرو ما في ما في أوزموليتي للووتر. إذا هون في أوزموليتي لأنه في إيش؟ في مولكيولز. طب وات هابنز إنه هذا الميمبرين is only permeable this membrane is only permeable to water. Water will move from the left arm to the right arm. Water through the membrane. ليش؟ لأنه these substances they cannot pass what they do they draw water بيسحب الووتر. بضلوا يرتفع هون This will go up. شوف هون. هاي this column of water. هذا عمود الماء ارتفع. This column of water. اللي له ضغط هذا ضغط هذا. It prevents the movement of water from the left arm to the right arm. عمود الماء هذا منع الووتر يمشي. خلص وقف لهون. This column of water here we call it osmotic. Pressure, osmotic pressure. The osmotic pressure is the one that prevents movement of water. The osmotic pressure is the one that prevents movement of water. The osmotic pressure is the one that prevents movement of water. The osmotic pressure is the one that prevents movement of water. The osmotic pressure is the one that prevents movement of water. The osmotic pressure is the
the osmotic pressure depends on the number of molecules as well. Number of molecules. لو كان حاطين molecules أكثر بده يرتفع الضغط أو العمود أكثر. Or can we prevent movement to start with? Yes, we can. إحنا ممكن نمنع الوتر if we apply a pressure here. ضغطنا ضغط. It equals the pressure. ضغطنا ضغط من البداية equals the pressure منعنا الوتر. بس هذا pressure اللي راح نضغطه هون. This is what we call it osmotic pressure. Osmotic pressure, okay? But the osmotic pressure is the pressure that is due to what? Due to the substance it had all. Substance, كل ما كان عدد substance أكثر كل ما كان osmotic pressure أكثر. Okay? Two points. We know the osmotic pressure is attributed to the osmolarity of the solution. Osmolarity of the solution. نفس الشيء هون. شوف هون حطينا substance. We put solute. Same solutes. وهون ال water. وهذا semi permeable membrane. This is a membrane semi permeable membrane here. Water will move from outside to inside. It will. There is increase in the column of water هون. عمود الماء اللي صار هون. It will prevent more movement of water we will get to the equilibrium this year the equilibrium there is zero net movement from this area to this area so if we come to the osmolarity mean which 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 so here so here or there the osmolarity here is zero there is water water is zero on higher osmolarity so water will move from Lower osmolarity to higher osmolarity. Water move from higher to lower osmolarity to higher. From higher concentration of water to lower concentration of water. Okay? Next is Water will move from lower concentration, lower osmolarity, zero, or whatever. Hatta lo can one fee solutes, but so on solutes actor. There is solutes here on solutes. Because the number of solutes here is more than the number of solutes outside, water will move from outside to inside. And then water will move from lower osmolality to higher osmolality. From lower osmolality to higher osmolality. Until there is equilibrium. Okay? How we calculate the osmotic pressure? The osmotic calculation is calculated by a, a, a law. It's called Van Hoff's law. By which is by is the osmotic pressure equal n number of moles, number of moles, gram molecular weight. C is the molarity, molarity number of moles. R is the gas constant and T is the temperature in Kelvin. Okay? Absolute temperature. Molarity is here, number of moles of solution per liter. So on N, number of moles of CR. Okay? This is how you calculate. So as you see, the osmotic pressure, the higher the number of moles, the higher the number of moles, and the higher the moles, it should be in the manner of the Avogadro. The number of molecules is higher, the osmotic pressure is higher. The osmotic pressure is higher, okay? So we see now two solutions. Hatayna fi A, hatayna fi B. We put at A and B two solutions, two kind of solutions. Solution A, molecular weight of A is 100. And there is 100 gram per one liter. Solution B, molecular weight of B is 1,000, and we want 1,000 grams there in one liter. So check where mover, movement of water it goes from where to where, from B to A or from A to B. Think of it. So here, since we have one gram. 
in one liter and the molecular weight of A is 100. Manato, the molarity here is one, one molar. And since here we have 1,000 gram and in one liter, the molarity is one, one molar. So there is no net movement of water from A to B or from B to B. Then the molarity is the same. But so can the molarity here aqal in B, water will move from B to A. So can the molarity to A aqal, water move from A to B. Okay. So here, as you see here, which solution has the greatest osmolarity? They have the same osmolarity. And which has the greatest molar concentration? They have the same molar concentration. Which has the greatest number of molecules? They have the same number of molecules, which is Avogadro number 6.02, 10 to the power 23. So there is no net movement of water. Okay? Fine. شوفوا هون لما نكون في dissociable substances مثلا لما نحكي 150 millimolar of sodium chloride 150 millimolar of sodium chloride 150 millimolar of sodium chloride it has 150 millimoles of sodium and 150 millimole of chloride then the osmolarity of sodium 150 molar of sodium chloride 150 of sodium plus 150 of Chloride, and then the end result is 300, and then 300 milli osmoles, milli osmoles, and we build milli moles. Now we build mole, we say osmol, osmol, osmolarity, osmol. Which will osmol? The osmol is actively, osmotically active molecule, osmotically active molecule. Five, 300 milli moles of glucose, come in molarity, come in milli osmoles. How many in osmol? Osmolarity come. The glucose ma bit halal. Glucose does not, uh, it will dissolve in water. Ma bit halal. Ma tell you, ah, glucose is 6. C6H12O6, la. C6H12O6, hada metabolism. Hada fi khalaya bit halal la CO2 plus water. But here, glucose, yani, ifna jayabin min sukkar, when daw go for solution, bit halal la C6H12O6, ma bit halal, okay? Then 300 millimole of glucose in osmolality command, 300 milli osmoles. 300 milli osmoles. على 300 ملي أوزمولز تقريبا هاي الأوزمولاتي this is the أوزمولاتي of the plasma الدم هاي بنسميها isotonic solution isotonic solution أو isosmolar okay 300 iso osmolar Then isosmolar or isotonic solution. Type if the osmolality is more than 100, مثلا 3 the osmolality can 350 actor. So we call it we call it hyper osmolar. Hyper osmolar. Okay. So if it can 250, أقل من It's less than 300. شوف نسميها نسميها hypoosmolar. If it's less than 300, we call it hypo. More than 300, we call it hyper. Of course, there is a range. يعني ما نتصور 300 fixed. Yeah, لو قلنا between 280 and 310 is the normal osmolality of the plasma. This is isotonic solution. Then osmolality of the sodium chloride. For other than Andy Horn, 100 milli osmol, milli moles, I mean, of calcium chloride. كم الأوزمولاري تبعته؟ شوف إف إف أي هاف 
if I have 100 millimoles of calcium chloride, معناته I have 100 millimoles of calcium and 200 millimoles of chloride. Correct? CL2. Then osmolarity on cam, 300 milliosmoles. لأنه this will dissociate بده يدي ينفصل إلى 1 calcium but 2 chloride then the end results of 300 okay طيب لو جينا هون extra cellular fluid و intra cellular fluid الفلويد الأوزمولاليتي لل extra cellular وال intra cellular intra stage it has to be the same يعني هناك في سائل inside the cell outside the cell and in between the cells if the osmolality of the solution if the osmolality of the intra cellular and extra cellular is different water will move from lower osmolality to higher osmolality يعني فرضا الأوزمولاليتي لل intra cellular fluid كانت 250 إذن water will move from the intracellular to the extracellular عشان تساوي بالأخير فنورمالي the osmolality of the intracellular extracellular and interstitial is the same هلا هون بالفلويد اللي موجود بال extracellular موجود حكينا ال extracellular has two parts the plasma this is in the vessel and in between the cells we call it interstitial fluid interstitial fluid Allah, here we have two kinds of ions. The ions, the sodium ion, the tonus sodium or potassium. Allah, لو إجينا هون حطينا في حطينا هون solution هيك. في هون بطارية ووصلنا البطارية هير وصلنا البطارية قطبي البطارية هذا كان القطب الموجب وهذا كان القطب السالب في هون فلويد في هيك فلويد هير وفي ايونز هير هير في ايونز وات ايفر كايند اوف ايونز لما اف وي كونكت ذيس باتري ذا ايونز هير ذا بوزيتيف ايون will be collected here, here the positive ion and the negative ion will be collected here هون ال negative ball هون نسمي كثود مهبط وال positive ion نسمي anode على ال positive ions هدول اللي جمعوا the positive ions that has be attracted to the negative ball we call it cat ions cat جاية من من كثود cat ions cat ions positive ions واللي جمعوا ذا ايونز ذات كولكتد ان ذا انود وي كول ات انايونز انايونز نيجاتيف والبوزيتيف از كاتايونز اذا از يو سي هير ان ذا اكسترا سيلر فلويد ذا مين كاتايون از صوديوم The main anion is 
chloride. So the main cation is sodium and the main amine. Hella, this is the main. Yeah, the osmolality of the extracellular fluid, the osmolality of the extracellular fluid depends on what? Depends on sodium chloride. This is the main. Now, in the interstitial also, the main cation is sodium and the main anion is chloride. What is the difference between interstitial and plasma? Plasma protein, as you see here. The plasma free proteins, the animal are not even interstitial. The animal, the protein and all, they are formed in the liver. The one with liver. When we look at the plasma, the membrane, the capillary is not soluble to the, is not permeable to the protein. So the protein may be formed in the plasma, the interstitial, the bubble free plasma. So the proteins are in the plasma. So as you hear, the cations are the nucleus reductor and the anion is. Then this is the three other ions, three other ions. So uh, negative on anions, the uh, bicarbonate. Cations, the potassium, three, three calcium, three, three. And this is the main. The original interstitial is always the same, has this more sodium and more chloride. And uh, there is some potassium and very little protein. What is the difference between the interstitial, the uh, extracellular, and intracellular? So, the intracellular, the main cation is potassium. Few sodium, there are some sodium, but not that much. And magnesium. The main cation is sodium and magnesium. When the main cation is sodium, when the main cation is potassium. In the intracellular, the main cation is potassium and magnesium. The main anion in the uh, intracellular is phosphate and protein. Proteins, anion, protein, okay? So this is the main anion. So the medial, uh, cells here, we bought a, a red blood cells in a solution. This solution is isotonic solution. Isotonic, yani around 300. 300 inside, 300 outside. There is no net movement of water. What happens to the cell? Nothing. There is no change in the shape. The shape, the RBC, as you see here, is the same. Here we put the RBC in high bottleneck. So the concentration of water here outside is more. The concentration of solute. What happens? Water will move from outside to inside. What happens to the cell? The cell will swell. Swell will occur in the end, it might burst. Temperature. This is called hemolysis. Hemo, dam, lysis, uh, hemolysis. Tikbar, I will say swell and hemolysis. We put the cell here in high bartonic when concentration of solutes is more than the concentration of solutes inside. Water will move from inside to outside. What happened to the cell? The cell called cremated. Or the cell shrink, then here shrinkage. Or crenation. Okay? The same thing here, as you see here. If you put it in normal isotonic solution, there is no change, the same. If you put it in high bottleneck, it should swell, and in the end it myelized. Low solution concentration. If you put it in high bartonic, so they crenate and they are shrink. Okay. Then we come to the next time of next type of uh, transport, which is active transport. Active transport solutes they are moving. Active transport solutes are moving across the plasma membrane, but against concentration. If against concentration, they have to use energy. Energy from lower concentration to higher concentration. The best type of best active transport is bumps, and the best kind of bumps is sodium potassium bump. Of sodium potassium ATB is because why? Because it uses ATB. As you see, 
sodium moves from inside to outside when sodium moves from inside to outside and potassium moves from outside to inside but we will show you know, on the concentration if you remember on concentration and sodium is higher outside than inside and potassium is higher inside than outside but they move against concentration gradient okay they move against concentration gradient type so it's sodium potassium bomb it bumps three sodium from inside to outside three sodium I three signed high bomb have the bomb at the end plasma protein plasma cell membrane protein but as you see here here you can see okay three sodium but then sodium will be expelled the ATD will be uh, dissociated from ATD to ADD and given uh, high energy phosphate but then the potassium goes from outside to inside three sodium for two potassium and then what we we bump three sodium outside in exchange for two potassium inside and there is difference in charge two three positive charge to the outside three positive charge goes outside in exchange for two positive charge that's why we call it electrogenic bond electro and it's our fee electrical change electro electrogenic bond why because there is difference in uh, charges okay so this is the bomb uh -huh. sodium potassium bomb activated ATBH three sodium goes to the outside expelled ATB is associated two potassium goes to inside okay active transport there are two kinds of active transport there is one kind called primary active transport they use energy a directly they use energy ATP. or secondary active transport they use energy indirectly indirectly active transport like bumps molecule they are bumps we have a sodium potassium bump the calcium bump the hydrogen bump hydrogen bump in the stomach that's secretion of hydrogen so this is and uh, a secondary bomb transport driven by energy stored in the concentration gradient so the idea that you use energy n directly then direct use of energy here and indirect use of energy in case of secondary active transport direct energy a uh, bombs sodium bomb and sodium potassium bomb hydrogen bomb calcium bomb potassium bomb secondary we come to the secondary use energy indirectly by using the uh, uh, concentration gradient like for sodium okay these are the secondary active transport there is exchange in sodium goes inside as you know sodium horn concentration highly so sodium here goes from higher concentration to lower concentration as the original calcium calcium goes from lower concentration to higher concentration calcium concentration here 10 to minus three molar outside inside the calcium is 10 to minus seven molar then calcium goes against concentration gradient but in exchange of five here and then sodium goes with the gradient but the calcium goes against five below we don't have energy the energy comes from sodium potassium bomb what keeps the sodium outside higher than the sodium inside is the sodium potassium bomb i expel sodium three sodium So 
for two potassium. I sodium potassium bomb, I bomb, I active. I this bomb that keeps the sodium outside higher than the sodium inside. So if we stop this bomb, block this bomb. After a while, sodium inside and sodium outside will be equal, and this bomb will this exchange will stop. So this is what we call a sodium potassium sodium calcium exchanger sodium calcium exchanger or we call it anti porter anti porter our counter transport counter transport counter transport So this uses what? This uses the concentration gradient for sodium. But the concentration gradient of sodium is produced by what? Is produced by the sodium potassium ATBase. The sodium potassium ATBase needs energy. So the energy for this counter transport is not direct. It is used by the sodium potassium. That's why we call it secondary active transport. The same thing for sodium, sodium hydrogen counter transport, our antiport, sodium hydrogen. So, sodium goes in in exchange for hydrogen. Now, the other kind of transport could be symport or co co transport. transport so sodium goes in it goes with it glucose this is called sodium glucose co-transport our sodium amino acid co-transport our symport symport the same thing it uses the energy that is for sodium gradient that is produced from the sodium which has in this is secondary this energy is not used directly it is used secondarily it's used indirectly. So that's it is secondary active transport. Secondary active transport. Okay. These are the uh, secondary active transport. Then uh, command is secondary active transport will primary active transport since they have a carrier. So the secondary active transport key carrier on. Key carrier on. There is a carrier here. There is a carrier here. There is a carrier. The primary uh, general primary here. primary here there is a protein this carrier and uh, these as you see the proteins are their number is limited because their number is limited so they have both ways they have saturation they have b max they have transport maximum they are saturable saturable and halatul ishba energy 90 percent of the cell is printed on active transport Now there is another kind of uh, active transport, which is transport by vesicles, endocytosis or exocytosis. Vesicles small, like protein molecules, protein, they cannot pass through the membrane. What happens these protein? They enter through vesicles, twice a lot, and the vesicle enter through the membrane by endocytosis. And the endocytosis, the two types of endocytosis, and that one phagocytosis, what we call cell eating. Cell eating, and this is for solid endocytosis for solid substances. And venocytosis for fluid, this is called cell drinking.
cell drinking. Then endocytes from outside to inside through the membrane. And it has to have the receptor, of course, your substance and the receptor for LDL, HDL, whatever. Exocytosis, the vesicle from inside goes, the vesicle fuses the membrane and it, uh, it releases its content, like the secretion of hormones, for protein hormones, because they have insulin. Insulin becomes the vesicle, the pal membrane, while the majority is ready for colon. To be transcytosis, it comes from outside to inside the cell and it goes to the other kind. So it is a combination of endocytosis and exocytosis. So it enters from one side and goes to the other side. Like here, as you see here, this is uh, endocytosis, receptor mediated endocytosis. These are receptors. And then it goes and forms what we call pseudobots, pseudobots zone, and Akdam Kadiri, but then it engulfs the substance, it's a wehone vesicle, and this vesicle moves. This vesicle unites with the lysosomes, and the lysosomes breaks down these substances. Okay? Okay, this is the endocytosis. Phagocytosis, as you see here. The pseudobots, pseudobots, the Qadam Kadibi, and, and else like bacteria, so bacteria, and the cell form uh, pseudobots, Qadam Kadibi, and then it engulfs it inside, but then it connects it nice with the lysosomes and breaks it down, okay? It's called endocytosis. Endocytosis, this is uh, pinocytosis, this is fluid. And if there is some kind of uh, pseudobots around it, then it invaginates and it unites with the lysosomes here, and the lysosome breaks down this fluid. This is called uh, bulk phase endocytosis or pinocytosis. Pino. Then I have a and have a cell drinking. Now, as you see, a cell membrane separates two uh, kinds of fluid, uh, intracellular or extracellular. With intracellular, there is a lot of potassium. With extracellular, there is a lot of sodium and chloride. The membrane is impermeable to these ions, and it keeps them, in, it keeps these ions outside and inside. So, the ions they are aligned, and extracellular uh, uh, positive ions with intracellular negative ions. And this membrane is called polarized membrane, polarized. All cells are polarized. All cells are polarized. But not all cells they have, they are excitable. Human excitable, they have what we call it action potential. Action potential. Thank you very much. This is all what we have for our uh, introduction and uh, transport. Thank you. Bye-bye.